All right, move on. So now, as you can see, we can compare the PDF, we can review and mark up the PDF file. But how about the PDF review process? So, well, you have two use cases. Uh, use case one would be if you already define any project-wise workflows, and then really you don't have to change anything. The same project-wise workflow will be honored in both project-wise Explorer and the project-wise web user interface. In my case, I define a specific workflow for PDF review and markup. The idea is simple. While the designer will check the PDF rendition, if they say it's ready, ready for review, they can move the PDF out to ready for review. Once a document is sitting on ready for review, we want to give the reviewers two options. They can either approve a document or they can reject it. So from the reviewer's perspective, they don't have to leave this project-wise web user interface. Uh, the same project-wise workflow will be honored here. So for example, I can see this PDF file is ready for review. Since I find an issue there, the list is incomplete. And from here, what I want to do here is I want to reject this PDF file. So from here, I just say I want to, I want to reject this PDF file. If you are using project-wise workflow rules engine, you can define rule-based actions upon changing a workflow state. In my case, what I defined within the workflow rules engine is something like this. Uh, once I change, uh, once I want to reject a PDF files, uh, I wanted to put the version to be need to revise workflow state. Also on top of that, I want to create a new version of the PDF file. And also I want to put the new version back into self-check workflow state. What I'm trying to accomplish is I want to generate a snapshot of the version I rejected. So down the road, I, always, I can always go back to see that's the version I rejected. And by creating new version and putting back the new version back to self-check workflow state, um, I'm ready to kick off another review cycle. So that's exactly what's happening here. As you can see, I just need to define the workflow rules engine within ProjectWise, and then the same workflow will be honored regardless I'm using the web user interface or ProjectWise Explorer. So that's really the use case one. If you already use ProjectWise workflow, uh, you don't have to change anything, just uh, stick with the existing project-wise workflow. Uh, another use case would be if you are not using any project-wise workflow, and then there's a good chance you could use this new feature coming along with the project-wise 365. So here I just want to highlight this feature is only available through to the cloud projects on project-wise 365 portal. It's a new feature coming along with the 365. So essentially, what you can do here is you can select multiple documents. From here, you can create a document review task. So from here, I can just say 100% uh, complete review. Okay, again, by the same token, I can assign to individual design, individual reviewers, or I can, I can assign to a specific role. So all the users with that role will be notified. I can, again, I can assign the due date. So automatically it's going to link all these documents together. So I can click on save. As you can imagine, what's going to happen is, is going to trigger the email notification to all the issue for the task assignees. 
So not only I create a design task, also at the same time, is there's a building workflow within this design document review task. So from here, I not only I can see the audit trail, I can see exactly what happened. Also, this is the building workflow. So from here, as you can see, as a reviewer, uh, there are multiple options I can take. I can approve this document, I can reject it, or I can put this document to be voided. So there are multiple things I can do here. The only downside thing about this document review task is the workflow is non-configurable. So if you think this workflow is good enough and then feel free to use it, the only premises, the only premise would be you have to spin up a cloud project on 365 portal. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.